Hello everybody, welcome to Sin City Living. Jason here bringing you today's video. So I've had a few questions uh, lately about combat, so I wanted to go ahead and, I've done this before, but I wanted to go ahead and update and do a, another video on combat. So the old come, combat versus place bet um, debate that, uh, that goes on. And just, just kind of demonstrate a few things with the comes versus the place bets. So, um, the first thing I want to say is one of the common arguments that uh, the come betters will make is that, well, when the seven comes, they'll win in the, uh, in, the, in the come, so they get some of their money back. Well, with the amount of money they put out on the rest of the table, that amount that they win right there is very, very minimal, first. Second off, what they'll say, especially the ones that do the two or three point molly system, is that if the seven comes in the first couple of rolls, they may even make money. If it's a point and then seven out, they'll actually make money based on the come. And otherwise, you know, they'll only have maybe one, one bet that travels before that seven out, so they lose less, so they have less at stake. And the problem with that is people that are playing with that in mind as part of their strategy, they really don't have a strategy. Basically, they're, they're, they're trying to make a strategy based around early sevens. They're, you're playing the wrong side of the table if that's what you're doing. Um, it does not mean if you catch a long roll, the come betters don't make money. They absolutely can. They just won't make as much money. And that's the thing. The ideal strategy is what will make you the most money when you catch that 20 or 30 minute roll? Where are you going to make really make your money? What is your win condition, first off, and how much will it take in order to, how many, how many hits on the same number will it take for you to hit your win condition? So if you buy in for say $1,000 and your win condition is, I don't know, doubling up to win $1,000, well, how many hits will it take on the same number? Because that's the best way to look at it. You know, just figure one number, how many times does one number have to hit um, in order to, to make your, your win condition for you. That's what you should look at. Because then you can kind of figure out, is my strategy based on a 20 minute roll, 30 minute roll, 40 minute roll, hour roll, two hour roll? You know, and if, it's, if, if a 20 minute roll won't hit your win condition, you probably need to reevaluate re your strategy. Um, so, with combats, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what, we've done this in the past, the whole 15 rolls without a seven, 30 rolls, then 45 rolls, and then 60 rolls without a seven based off statistical likelihoods of the rolls. Now I'm gonna get rid of the puck on this one. We're just gonna go off the statistical likelihoods of the rolls and we're, we're gonna factor in that, that these are gonna hit while they are working. So it's ignoring any sevens or any numbers that would roll while the point is off. Okay, so, um, and again, this is statistical likelihood of rolls coming um, and ideally most of your rolls, your, or most of your strategies are based around breaking those statistics, having a five or a six hit seven or eight, nine times in a 15 minute roll. That's what a lot of strategies are really based around. But we're gonna look at this just off statistical likelihoods. And we're going to run four different bets here. We're gonna have the come bet player. Now, here's the thing to look at. We're gonna say a three point molly system where we're gonna do three, four, five odds, okay? So we'll do a quarter, quarter odds or a quarter flat bet, quarter, quarter minimum bet table. That means maximum odds, oops, maximum odds would be 125 on the six, 100 on the five, and 75 on, on the nine. Now, of course, if you do a three-point molly system, and at that point, they won't have this out anymore, so they just have their three points. So that is the most that this player wants to have at risk, right? So let's look at it. That means that the most they want to have at risk is $375, okay? So we're going to go $375 or less pretty much at all times. So we're going to have a couple players. We're going to have a player that just does his comebacks. We're going to do a three-point molly system, okay? And we will look at uh, the, I don't know, we'll, we'll say the, the four, five, and six, okay? Just, just to make it easy. They will be on the four, five, and six only. And uh, actually, no, we're going to get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that three-point molly system. We're just gonna have a come better, okay? Come better. They're gonna do max odds, three, four, five. And then we're gonna have another player that is going to, now we said 375 is the most that they are willing, that a player, the player is willing to risk, right? So we're gonna have another player that's going to risk 
320. Just 320 dollars, so less than that 360. But this player is going to mid press. Okay? They're going to mid press. Then we're going to have two other players that are going to place as if it were a combat. What I mean by that is they're going to place whatever number rolls. So you see that a lot. You see a come better that will say six rolls, right? So it travels to the six, and then they go ahead and they place their, they make their, their uh, odds bet. And then I'll see another player that says, to heck with it, I'm going to go ahead and place it after it rolls, okay? after it's rolled once. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have someone that places it for the exact same amount of money so that we can, we can see. So if the player would have quarter with 125 odds, and we'll have another player that just does 150 in placing it. Okay, we're gonna have two players that do that. The first player will same bet every time. The second player is also going to do a mid press. And we're gonna take a look and see how this goes. There's probably gonna be multiple videos. Once they've all posted, I'll stitch them all together in one long video for the 30, or 15, 30, 45, and 60 rolls. So, let's take a look. All right, now, 15 rolls without a seven. So we're gonna have the four hit one time and we're gonna have the 10 hit two times. The reason for that is statistically, they're gonna hit one and a half times each. I can't do a half a hit. So we're gonna do one and two and it'll catch up when we hit the 30 rolls, okay? So if the four is only gonna roll one time, that means that the first player will have their combat travel, they'll do their 75 odds, and that is it. It means the second player, since we said that they are going to be doing a mid-press type of scenario, they are probably going to go to either 75 or 100. Generally, on the 4 and 10, they're going to go ahead and just do straight presses because they're going to get almost the exact same amount of money as well. And they, they'll make $48 instead of the 50, but they're going to straight press it up to 100. So that would be the one hit. Then, like I said, we'd have another player, two other players that are going to place it after it hits for the same amount of money that this player has at risk, which with 25 with 75 odds, that's 100 bucks. So they're each going to place it for 100 bucks. Now, because it only hits once, they are not going to get paid. There's no second hit. So now let's look at the five. So the five is going to roll two times statistically. So the first time, they're going to, they're going to travel their combat and they're going to make their $100 in odds. The second time it hits, they're going to get paid their $175, okay? Now, we've got the place better that has less at risk. First time it hits, they're going to go up to 75. And the next time it hits, second time it hits, they're going to go up to one and a quarter. So at this point now, they have just as much at risk on the table as the combat. Then we've got the other two players that again, we have 125 at risk here. So after it rolls the first time, they're just gonna place it. And then the second time, they're going to go ahead, take their money. The first one is just gonna same bet. Now the second player, as we already said, is going to mid press, so they're just gonna collect 100. And that's your two hits on the five. Now let's look at the six. So the six is gonna roll two times as well. The eight will roll three times. Under the scenario, 15 rolls without a seven, it actually comes to two and a half times each. So just like with the four and 10, I can't do a half. So six will do twice, eight will do three times, and it'll catch up on the 30 rolls. So twice on the six, so it's gonna hit, replace the odds. Now, the next time around, they're going to get paid $175 for the second hit, so we'll give them $200 for a quarter, and they are finished. Now, this player, we said, would do a mid-press, so the first hit, they're going to go up to 90, and the second hit, go up to 150, and they are done. Then we've got the player over here that both of 
these players, as soon as that uh, six hits, they're going to place it for 150. First player is just going to same bet it twice, or once, because it's only going to hit once after the first time. So they'll get 175, we'll give it 200 for a quarter. And then this other player is going to get paid 175, but they are in a mid press type of situation. So they decide to go to 210. And there we go. And that's the two times that that is going to hit. Now the eight is going to hit three times. It's going to hit three times. So the first time, our come better places his odds. The second time, he's going to make 275 or 175. So we'll give him 200 for the green. And then the third time, same thing. We're going to give him 200 for the green load up on some more blacks over here and some more purples so that's the three hits right there so this player that placed it to begin with mid press as we have already covered first hit second hit going up to 150 third hit it's going to pay 175 they're going to go up to 210 three hits. Now these other two players, after it hit the first time, when this combat traveled, they went ahead and placed it. That way they're staying on the same level as the, uh, the uh, combatter as far as how many hits. Okay, that way we're going with the same number of hits. Let me fix this real fast. All right, so we said this player is just going to same bet it. So the first hit, they place it. The next two hits, they're going to same bet it, which is going to pay them 175 twice. That's going to be $350. I'm going to go ahead and take 150 here and just give them a purple. There we go. Now, the player that is going to um, do a mid-press situation, so first time is going to pay 175 or the second time rather, the second hit is going to pay him 175. They go up to 210. And then the next time around, it's going to pay him 245. So we're going to pay him 250 for five. They go up to 300. And that's the three hits on the eight. So now let's look at the nine. So the nine is going to hit two times, just like the five. So the first time, it travels and they get their odds. The second time around, they get paid their 175. The place better, first time around, takes himself up to 75. Next time around, takes himself up to one and a quarter. That's his two hits. Now these other two players, after this travel, the first time the nine rolled, they went ahead and placed it. So now they're going to go ahead and get paid. This player is going to get paid 175 uh, once. So they'll take their 175. And now the place better that, uh, that is doing a mid-press type of situation, they're going to take their 175, press themselves up to 200, and collect that one. Now we move on to the 10. So the 10, it's going to roll two times under this scenario to cover up for that one and a half times each on the 4 and 10. So the first time around, it travels, and they place their odds. The second time around, they get paid their 175. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take three and a quarter. There we go. So that's that. Pretty easy. The place better that is doing a mid-press will throw in $2. So he can get paid 100, the first hit, and he'll go to 100. Second time around, he'll throw in 5 bucks so he can get paid his 200. And he'll only go up to 150. A lot of them are going to go up to 200 at this point, but we'll just take them up to 150, okay? So then the, these other two players, after it rolled the first time, they went and placed it. The first player 
is just going to, same bet, so he's going to collect his $195 the second time it hits, while the other player is going to do a mid-press situation. He'll throw in his 5 bucks to get paid 200 and he'll just press it up to 150 Now, there we go. So we are looking at what could happen in a 15, 15 rolls out of seven, which is approximately a 20 minute roll, with someone who does come bets, someone who actually just placed it for less money than the come better is willing to have at risk if they did a three point molly system. In this case, they're doing all the way across, but just a three point molly system, they're willing to risk up to $375. This player only placed $320, 320 bucks. They only placed 320 bucks. And then we have two players that kind of did a follow the leader. They, they placed it instead of doing the combat, but they did it at the same time the combat went in. So they have the same number of hits on the number as the combatter does. Right now, after 15 rolls without a seven, the combatter has, it, and this is, again, not counting a three-point molly set. This is, this is doing all of them, the continuous comp, right? Would have $1,050. A three-point molly system player, you could basically cut that in half. Right, so they you know, cut it in half, figure they're going to have about $500 in profit, if that. The place better has $726 in profit. The person who placed it after the points has the same number of hits as the come better has $1,070 in profit. They actually have more profit than the come better, despite the fact that they have the, had the exact same number of hits per number and the exact same dollar amount risked per number as the come better. They are exactly identical, every aspect, except they've actually made more money. Now we've got the player that is doing the same thing, but he's doing a mid-press scenario. So he has $730 in profit. So you notice the two players that are pressing have the least amount of money after a, a short little 15 to 20 minute roll. They still have made profit. Again, I wanna stress that this is double roughly double what a three-point molly system player would have. So if they're only playing three numbers, you're looking at 500, 500 in profit, not 1,000, okay? So I hope you guys find this interesting. The next video, or uh, if this is the, uh, the combined one, uh, coming up will be taking this all the way out to 30 rolls without a seven. Thanks, guys. Bye now. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at our combat progression. Going from after the 15 rolls, going for the next 15. So this will go out to 30 rolls without a seven. So to reiterate what we've got going on here, we have the first player is doing a combat. They're doing a continuous combat. Originally, I was gonna film this with a three-point molly system, but it's actually just a little bit more fun filming it as a continuous combat. So whatever profit they have, if you're doing a three-point molly system, you can generally cut the profit in half. If you're doing a two-point molly system, you can generally cut the profit to about a third, roughly. Okay? So after the first 15 rolls, you're looking at a little over $1,000 in profit. A three-point molly system will be looking at $500 or so in profit. Yes, I don't have the puck out. Yes, I'm doing the statistical likelihood of the numbers hitting as if they are getting paid every single time. We're taking out the sevens that may roll during a come-out roll while the point is not live. We're just worrying about what may hit while everything is live. When you hit the, have these really, really long rolls, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 minute rolls, sevens do come. They just come while the point is off, but they still do come. That's part of the luck, which causing this great roll. So the second player started out with just $320 across, playing every single number as a place bet, but they are doing a mid press. Why did we do $320? Because a three point molly player would have roughly $375 at risk, at their maximum risk. Uh, 400 if I counted any other combats, but if they're doing a three-point molly system, once the three have traveled, that's it, right? So that roughly $375 at risk. So I wanted to have a player that had the same or less at risk, but was doing some kind of press, just, just to see. And then these final two players were doing, were placing the number after it rolled the first time. So just like a combatter, only instead of having a combat, a flat bet that traveled and then putting odds, they just see what number rolls and then they place it. There are players actually that do play that way because they know the place bets actually pay more, pay better than, than combats unless you're at 10 times odds or higher place. The first player is just doing the same bet every single time. They have the exact same dollar amount at risk as the combatter. Right? 
25 flat with $100 odds, you get $125 place bet. The second player has been doing a mid-press scenario. So we already know what they have made in profit up to this point. So now let's take a look going onwards towards 30 rolls without a 7. So the 4 and 10, this time around to make up for how we did it last time, 1 and 2. Now this will roll two more times, this will roll one more time, okay? So we've got two more hits for the 4. This is going to pay $175 twice, so it's going to pay $350. We're going to go ahead and just go do $400. 450 So now we move on to the place better that is also that is doing a mid-press scenario. So the first time it hits, they're going to go up to 150 They're going to collect the rest of their profit. Now, this one gets a little bit tricky as far as the VIG goes. This could be a seven or an eight dollar fig. It really, really depends. And we're gonna go ahead and figure it's a seven dollar fig, okay? So we'll just go ahead and throw it in this way to get that taken care of. They're gonna get paid three hundred dollars. They're gonna go to two hundred. So that's the two hits right there on the four. For the Place better. So now let's look at the place better that has had the exact same number of getting paid. They've been paid the exact same number of times as the come better. So they're going to get paid $195 twice. They can just throw in 10 bucks to get paid 400 bucks. Five each time. So they'll get paid 400 bucks then. Now this player is going to do a mid press scenario as we have already covered a couple times. So they're going to take their money. Go up to 150. That's the first hit. And then the second hit, same thing, they need to throw in seven dollars. To get paid there. Uh, 600. Oh wow, it's 600. I made a mistake on this one. Didn't I? Oh no, no. So not 600. They're going to throw in their $7 to get paid 300. I did not make a mistake. I don't know what happened to my brain just now. And then they're going to go up to 200. So that's the two times that's going to get. I don't know what I did. There were, what happened to my brain right then? Alright, so that's two times the four is going to hit. So the five is going to hit twice. It's going to hit twice. It's going to pay $350 total. $175 twice for the come better. Right. I'm going to throw in 200 bucks just so we can give 550 bucks. Make it easy. 550. So the place better. The place better is going to get paid $175. They'll so go to 200. The first hit. The second hit, they're going to get paid $280. Go to 300. That's their two hits. Now they're at $300. The place better that is same betting, it's going to get paid $175 twice for $350. We'll go ahead and throw in $150 and give them $100. Now this player, again, getting paid $280. Going to 300. That's their first hit. So the second hit, they're going to get paid $420. I'm actually running out of black again. How am I doing that? Okay, so they're going to get paid $420. This way. And they're at 300 right now. There's a few different directions they can take this. At this point, they're probably going to go for go to 500 So that is their two hits. Lex, can. So that is covering the five. Now the six. The six is going to roll three more times, whereas the eight's only going to roll two more times. Because remember, I had that two and a half thing last time, so I did two and three. So three more times on the six. So you're going to pay $175 three times. That's going to be $525. This player is in a mid press scenario, so they're going to be paid $175. So in $35. So 
200 for a quarter. And they'll go to 210. That's the first hit. So the second hit, they get paid 245, so we'll give 250 for five. And they'll go to 300. That's the second hit. So that's two hits right there. This player is going to get paid 350 bucks. They're going to get paid 175 dollars twice. So they're going to get paid 350 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and give 550 for 200. This player, back we're doing the same thing. The first hit, they go to 300. Second hit, they get paid 350. They're going to go up to 450. They're going to collect 200. So that is the two more hits on the six. Sure, so I'm running low on blacks again. So for the eight, for the eight, we're looking at, uh, or, I'm sorry, three more hits. So they get three, three more hits. So they went from 210 to three, three to 450. Okay, so they're gonna have one more hit. I think I owe this person, this player another 175, don't I? I do. I definitely do. So we'll go ahead and give them the other 175 that I owe them. And instead of 350, it should have been should have been five and a quarter. So now this one's gonna get paid five and a quarter. Now they go to six hundred. And let's see what we can do here. All right, so there we go. That is the six and the eight's only gonna roll two times, two times. So 350 right there. This player, 250 for five, go to 300. Second time around, it's gonna pay 350. We're gonna go to 50. This player is going to same bet it twice, so you're going to get paid 350 total. So we'll do 550 for 200. This player, the first time it hits, is going to go to 450. Next time around, they get paid five and a quarter, and they go to 600. So that is the eight. So the nine is going to roll two more times, as we've already covered. So again, this is going to pay him a total of $350. 350 This player is going to get paid $175. First time they get the $200. And it's going to pay them $280. And they're going to go up to $300. This player is going to same bet both times, so they're going to pay 350 total. Go ahead and throw in these right here, plus this. So there we go. Now, this player, first time around, it's going to pay them $280. Let's go ahead and throw in 20 bucks for 300. Go to 300. The second time around, it's going to pay them $420. Does not look like I have enough black, so let's trade all this in. That. It's going to pay the $420. Go to $500. They're done. Now we're going to look at the 10. This time around, the 10 is only going to roll one. Time. One time. So they're going to get paid $175. Convert everything. So this player is in a mid press situation. They're going to go ahead and throw in their $7. Teach 
get paid their 300. Just take it up to 200. Keep it nice and easy. So this player is going to throw in their five bucks to collect because they're just same betting. This player is only same betting. Now this player will throw in their seven dollars to get their three hundred dollars and go up to two hundred. So after thirty rolls of the dice for that is seven, thirty paying rolls of the dice for that is seven, the player that is doing comments has made a profit of $3,150. Now this is with a continuous combat. Again, remember, three-point molly system, you're looking at half that, half that. Say $1,600, $1,600 in profit. The player that started out with 320 across and just doing a mid-press scenario has $2,542 in profit, $2,542 in profit. The player that has been doing Placing the numbers after they roll the first time, so getting this exact same number of hits and payouts on the number as the come better, while also risking the exact same amount of money, has $3,230 in profit. The player that has been doing something similar, they've been placing the number with the exact same dollar amount at risk after the point has rolled, but they've been doing a mid-press type scenario, at this point has $3,466 in profit profit. So at this point in time, after 30 rolls out of seven, so about a 40 to 45 minute roll, the player that started out with 320 across, which was the least dollar amount at risk of every person on this, on this game. Uh, for instance, if every single number would have rolled the other three players once, the other th and then seven, the other three players would have lost far in excess of what this player has. The player with the least amount roll risk at risk also currently has the least amount one at 2,542, except, again, a three-point molly system cut that down in half. A combat player doing a three-point molly system would have made the least amount of money at this time. Might have made about $1,600. A player that is doing a two-point molly system at this time would be even lower than that. They might have maybe $1,000 to $1,200 in profit, which sounds about right. I see combatters. They play a two or three point molly system, they catch that amazing 40, 45 minute roll, and they end up coloring up about $1,000 in profit. So it sounds about right, it makes sense, $1,000 in profit. A continuous combat player like this, again, is doing decent. They would have the second lowest. Um, so at this point, the combat is already showing as inferior, and more to the point, the combat is inferior versus someone that is placing the number after it rolls once. So it's having the exact same number of payouts on the exact same numbers as the combat player. Probably not gonna bother doing 45 to 60 rolls because this has already kind of made the point of why combats and place bets, why the place bets actually are superior. Even just doing a same bet scenario still makes more money, not counting any kind of pressing. This also shows why you want to press. Someone who started with a very small amount of money has quite a bit in profit. Because you know, take a look at it. Let's say every number rolled once and then seven out. Right? So this player would have $300, $550 at risk, $750 at risk. So this player and these players if every number rolled once before seven out, $750 at risk, wiped out, never made anything. The player that started with $320 across would have less than half at risk, would have actually gotten paid before that seven out, because they would have been paid on every single one of those numbers. Now, they still would have taken a loss, but they would have taken a smaller loss. So, hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, just plain fun. We thank everybody for watching. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now.